Oh, This is a Great Mystery by William Dyer And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh. 1 Timothy 3.16 What a mystery is this! He who made man became man, suffered by man, and for man is Jesus, the true and perfect God. And truly, sirs, it is a great mystery. For happiness to become a curse. For him who made the angels to become lower than the angels. For the Creator to become a creature. For him who had the riches of all in himself to become poor. Oh, this is a great mystery. That he whom the heaven of heavens cannot contain that his glory should be enwrapped in the rags of flesh, that the great God should be enclosed in a piece of earth, that he who hangs the earth upon nothing should hang upon a cross between two thieves, that he who rules the stars should suck the breast, that he who thunders in the clouds should be cradled in a manger, that Abraham's Lord should become Abraham's son. What a mystery is this! God's Son became man's son, that we poor man's sons might become God's sons. He loved me and gave himself for me. Galatians 2.20 All that Christ did and suffered, it is for me. All that Christ has is mine. Christ's love is mine to pity me. Christ's mercy is mine to save me. Christ's graces are mine to beautify me. Christ's power is mine to protect me. Christ's wisdom is mine to counsel me. Christ's spirit is mine to comfort me. Christ's word is mine to teach me. Christ's glory is mine to crown me. Therefore, a grain of saving grace in the heart is better than a chain of gold around the neck.